A 34-year-old senior mongrel mob member, Joseph John Morell, also known as Triple J, died by suicide on May 21, 2021, just a week after the police seized his cars and property. Now it can be disclosed that he engaged in methamphetamine dealing and amassed assets worth millions through this illicit trade. He was expected to face serious drug charges for significant and severe offences related to drug activities. And police were preparing to formally charge him with criminal offences relating to drugs which would carry severe consequences upon conviction. Triple J accumulated assets exceeding $2 million, all while reporting a modest annual income of only $35,000 to Inland Revenue Department. He held the position of captain within the mongrel mob notorious chapter in Hawke's Bay until his unexpected demise in May 2021. Only a few weeks prior, law enforcement had obtained high court orders to freeze a total of five residential properties, six vehicles, three Harley-Davidson motorcycles, $74,000 in cash, bank accounts, a boat, and a Cobelco digger. This action stemmed from an inquiry into Triple J's financial dealings. Morell was the main target of Operation Dusk, and police were able to establish that his wealth was derived through illicit means, allowing the mongrel mob boss to live a lifestyle beyond legitimate means. The $2.1 million worth of assets were forfeited in September, but the details of the police investigation can now be publicly revealed for the first time. Tax records showed Morell had declared an average annual income of $35,000 over the past six years, although a forensic analysis of his bank accounts showed cash deposits of $233,000. Police also identified $185,000 in cash spending, although detectives believed the total was likely to be higher. This included a 12-day family holiday to French Polynesia in January 2020, in which the $33,000 worth of bills were paid in bundles of cash. On their return home, Customs searched Triple J's family's luggage and found $13,500 in cash that was not declared. Another family trip to Taupo in May 2020 was also paid for in cash, including skydiving, hotel accommodation and car rentals, as well as the significant amounts of cash Triple J and his wife were able to purchase five residential properties in Hawke's Bay. One was the home where they lived with their five children and four others were rentals. They collected $151,000 in rent payments over four years Although this income was not declared to Inland Revenue, all the properties had been extensively renovated, which again had been paid for in cash. Morell also had a fleet of cars, including vintage Fords and a trio of expensive Harley Davidson motorcycles. Most of these vehicles were registered in the names of family and friends, including his teenage son, who didn't have a driver's license at the time. Triple J was living an extravagant lifestyle that was well outside what his declared income should allow him to enjoy. This demonstrated his access to a significant, unknown source of cash, which supported the comment that the cash was derived from crime. This all came down to his position as the captain of the mongrel mob notorious chapter in Hawke's Bay. Some members and associates of this chapter were responsible for the wholesale distribution of methamphetamine across the Hawke's Bay. And as a senior member of a hierarchical organization, Triple J was aware of the proceeds of this offending. The operation included series of police raids on the drug trade which involved the mongrel mob notorious chapter. This included Operation Lariat, where 13 people, including a patched notorious member, were convicted on a range of drug dealing and firearms offences. The ringleader of this particular drug syndicate was Shane Tamihana, also a professional poker player who was jailed for 13 years. Surveillance photos showed Tamihana wearing notorious branded supporters clothing and that he was in contact with Morell during this time. This also included Operation Casino, 
which led to 22 people being charged with drug dealing and firearms offences in 2020. Among them were senior mongrel mob members Daniel Elu and Laki Sulusi, who are now dead. Elu was shot outside a drug counselling meeting in Auckland in Christmas 2022, while Sulusi died from natural causes in 2021, a few months after his arrest. At the time of his death, Triple J had not been charged in Operation Dusk, but his assets were forfeited under the Criminal Proceeds Recovery Act, a law under which the police do not need a conviction. Once the forfeited assets are sold, the money would be put into the Proceeds of Crime Fund, from which government agencies could make an application to fund crime prevention, as well as drug and alcohol rehabilitation initiatives. Speaking about the Operation Detective Sam Buckley of the Central Asset Recovery Unit told the media that this is an example of police successfully targeting organized crime through both criminal and civil court jurisdictions. One of the primary reasons that organized crime exists is to make money, and this result should show people participating in this activity that they will be held accountable. Funeral for Triple J was held in May 2021, just outside Flaxmere. Traffic came to a standstill on a major highway in Hawke's Bay as mongrel mob members travelled to the funeral. The funeral proceedings for this high-profile mob member garnered significant attention, leading to the closure of several roads in the area. Mourners, paying their respects to the departed leader, flocked to the venue in large numbers prompting authorities to implement traffic control measures to ensure the safety and smooth passage of the procession. Several hundred gang members attended the funeral and a plethora of gang patches were on display from various chapters and locations around the country. For those who don't know, the Mongrel Mob is a notorious and influential gang that originated in New Zealand. Established in the 1960s, the gang is the largest gang in New Zealand. It has evolved into one of the country's most prominent and formidable criminal organisations. Recognisable by their red and black distinctive patch, depicting a bulldog wearing a German military helmet, the Mongrel Mob is known for its hierarchical structure and strict code of conduct. Members often affiliate themselves with the gang as a way of finding a sense of belonging and identity. However, the mongrel mob has garnered a reputation for involvement in various criminal activities, including drug trafficking, violence and organised crime. The gang's presence has sparked concerns about public safety and has led to ongoing efforts by law enforcement to combat its influence and in criminal enterprises. MOB now has more than 30 chapters throughout the country and additional operations in Australia, Asia and Canada. They are especially active in Auckland, King Country, Opatiki, Waikato and Hastings. The mongrel MOB's main rival is the Black Power. There have been several very public and violent clashes between the two gangs over the years. With territorial disputes, power struggles and vendettas, often escalating into violent confrontations that pose a significant threat to public safety and challenge law enforcement efforts to maintain order.